Hey YouTube, Arby Safari here. Let me show you an interesting feature of the waypoint function on the DJI Phantom 4. <clears throat> this is a uh, full screen Google Earth image of the flight simulator of the DJI Phantom 4. I'll leave a uh, link below about the video how to get this uh, full screen Google Earth image. But let me just show you a, uh, a neat trick or a neat uh, functionality of the waypoints. As we get there, let me just uh, thank my viewers and my subscribers. Here we are in intelligent flight mode. We go to waypoints, we'll do a new mission. This will be our first point right here. So we'll go forward. It's our second point. We'll make this about a 90 degree angle. Like that. So previously, the DJI Phantom 4, when you had a waypoint mission, the Phantom 4 would go from point one to point two, and then from point two to point three, and all lines would be straight. So even if you had a squiggly line, a squiggly path getting from point one to point two, it would go from point one to point two, then from point two to point three. And the transition here between one, two, and two, three was a, a harsh 90 degree angle or whatever angle you uh, proscribed. But the, uh, the current waypoints function uh, smooths out that um, sharp corner, which can be a good thing or it can be a uh, not so good thing. It's good in the fact that it allows you to have a more um, smooth transition. You can see here it's uh, going at a uh, angle. And a nice uh, radius like that. Just pause that. So here, here was the initial uh, waypoint uh, mission between 1 and 2 and 2 and 3. But when the uh, DJI uh, Phantom 4 was going to fly that, it rounded off that harsh corner. And you have this nice radius like that. Of course, this is beneficial if you're trying to videotape trying to video record a nice uh, smooth mission. But the problem is if you have uh, waypoint one here, waypoint two here, and say you have an obstacle right here, then it certainly is possible that you could um, have a conflict with the obstacle if the Phantom Four is going to um, curve the mission like that. So you flew the mission one to two, two to three, but the, the Phantom Four curves that mission. And I've tried this uh, out in the, my front yard on a smaller scale, and it certainly is true in real life, not just on the uh, simulator. Previous descriptions of the Phantom Four waypoints seem to indicate that it was a uh, sharp transition between the points, and now it seems to indicate uh, from this uh, little demonstration that it's more of a curve, more of a radius. If anyone has any more information about this, I'd really appreciate a comment uh, and uh, any other tips and advice you have regarding this feature. Is there a way to adjust the length of the radius? Is there a way to turn this radius function on and off? I think that'll all be very helpful. Certainly, you can uh, have this mission run in reverse, which is easy to do. And it follows the same radius on the way back. Then we let it go forward again, and it follows the same radius uh, forward. Again, I've not seen this described previously on the internet or on YouTube. So any advice, comments, and other ways to uh, maximize the utility of this would be very appreciated. If you enjoy this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe. 
And uh, thanks very much for viewing. This is RV Safari signing out.